Hello, my beautiful, darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Crosswalkers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light, and then I have Divine Spirit Healing, 1111. The links for those are in the description box below. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation please be sure to like share comment and subscribe click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced i uh, give away two five question emergency readings on the first of every month so hashtag reading to enter to win um, if you're looking to start your own tarot channel or if you're looking to learn how to read tarot you can check out my tarot tutorial the link is below it's about two and a half hours long um and if you would like to book a reading with me, you could book a phone reading or a, um, a video reading. The link is below. If you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle. That is buy one, get one free. And then I have Royal Rose Tarot, which is currently 20% off. And this one is low in stock. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. So we've got unexpected. We've got magnetic attraction and date. Okay. So Cancer, the person that you're thinking about here, um, I feel like... I feel like someone new is coming into your life or someone is hitting you up to reconcile and they can't believe that you're answering them back, okay? This is someone that finds you to be out of their league or uh, they're extremely attracted to you. This is someone that really wants to take you out on a date, okay? I feel like it could be new, but whatever it is, this is someone that hits you up and they cannot believe like they like they go to shoot their shot with you and they just they cannot believe that you are actually answer them back. OK, so this is someone that is surprised to be getting a response from you. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about my beautiful cancer babies. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I'm telling you, I think this is new. I really do. I think this is new. Ace of pentacles and the four of wands. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the eight of cups and the death card. Scorpio energy. We've got the ace of cups. And we have the nine of wands. So Cancer, I really do feel that this is somebody new coming into your life. I think that either you or this person or maybe even both of you are sitting in an energy of disconnecting from something. Because that eight of cups can talk about walking away from a situation and with that death card that is ending something and starting something new. So Cancer, let's just say you're in an energy of you're in a really bad relationship. It's on and off. It's crazy. And you know, you're, you're kind of in the process of really wanting to move on from somebody. And then this person just hits you up out of nowhere, out of nowhere. And you're like, screw it. I'm just going to answer. I'm going to answer because I'm over my past person. I'm done. I'm just going to answer. And when you do answer this person, little do you know that with that four of wands energy, this could lead to a marriage proposal. You may end up moving in with this person, buying a house with this person, getting engaged to this person. This nine of wands is the only thing that I'm worried about with the sun card and the hanged man here and temperance. Um, so we've got Leo energy, Pisces energy, Sag energy here, Scorpio energy. So Cancer, I feel like even though this person makes you super happy, there's an energy of wanting to be patient. So this is someone that will marry you like yesterday or, or they want to be with you. But I think that you are might be sitting in an energy of... 
I don't know, maybe feeling like it's too good to be true or maybe feeling that, you know, it's not a good idea for you to jump into a serious relationship right now because you just got out of one, you know? Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Holy shit. Tell me about, yeah, Queen of Swords and the Emperor here. Okay, so Cancer, I think that what's happening here is you've come to realize that one of the mistakes that you make in your relationship is that you fall in love too quickly, you move too fast, you know, you don't take the time to see some who someone really is before you become either emotionally invested, financially invested, you might move in with people very quickly. Um, and with the Queen of Swords and the Emperor here, Cancer, um, oh, you're coming off as an emperor, you're coming off as someone that wants serious commitment, show me first. Show me. Show me, show me the candy. <laughs> You're like, I'm getting the, the, a picture of those memes. Like, you know, um, there's a big white van and someone's like, you know, get in the van and I'll give you candy. And you're like, I'm not stupid. Give me the, show me the candy. What kind of candy is it? <laughs> I'm not trying to get in this van for no dollar store candy. What is it? Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> you know? So cancer, you're thinking twice before you get into the van. Because I think before people would show you the candy and it was some garbage-ass candy. And you would just hop in that van before you saw what kind of candy they had, right? And then you came to realize that it was bullshit, nasty-ass candy. This time you're like, show me the candy. I want to see what kind of candy it is. Like, I am not jumping into a relationship with nobody until you show me what you're working with, okay? You're like, I'm not stupid. Let me see the candy first. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. So, you know, it's like, you know, that's the energy that you're in. Show me the candy. You're like, oh, you're an emperor? Really? You're going to give me candy? Show me. What kind of candy is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for no candy that you picked up off the street. So cancer, you're not looking to move quick with anybody anymore. You're not out to give your love, your heart, your money, your time, your energy, your attention to nobody anymore. You want to wait. But what's funny is, is that you're coming into this energy of all of a sudden, you know, really wanting to see the truth about people and, um, you know, get to know people right when you meet someone that sits in emperor energy. They could be an Aries or a Taurus. So it's like funny, all those people from the past, you know, see the lover's card, the four of pentacles and the five of swords. See these people from your past didn't show you the candy with the four of pentacles. They had that held that shit to themselves and it turned into a shit show with the five of swords here. These people with the lover's card, they made you believe that there was a beautiful soul tie energy here. And then they would choose uh, other people over you, their addictions over you, toxic behavior over you, you know, and you're not trying to get yourself into that disaster you know queen of cups here in the justice card you want to make sure that people treat you right you're not playing with people anymore show me i'm not playing with you show me the candy i want to see what kind of candy you got before i get into this van <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're you're like no you know um tell me about the eight of cups here tell me about the eight of cups and the five of cups. So cancer, yeah, I feel like you're just kind of sitting in an energy of having a lot of regret that you gave your time and energy to somebody. You're grieving something with the two of swords and the six of cups and the death card cancer. I feel like you're, you're disconnecting from a past situation. Okay. Now I, I feel like you've really come to terms with the fact of, I don't want to do this anymore. You, you may still have that, you know, remaining love for this person, but you're really dead set on, I don't want to do this anymore. With the Knight of Swords here and the Ace of Cups, this new person that's coming towards you is coming in like a bat, you know, like a like a bat out of hell. You know, this is someone that is ready to be with you. This is someone that wants you so bad. This person thinks you're so beautiful, so handsome, so amazing that they can't even believe the fact that you're just talking to them is like, oh my God, cancer's cancer like answered me back. Can't this, they answered me. They're talking to me. Like this person's acknowledging my existence. You know what I'm saying? This person wants you like on a whole nother level, you know, um, with the devil card here and the queen of pentacles, this is somebody that they are like obsessed over tying you down and getting you into a relationship. Tell me about the nine of wands here and the queen of cups. You got your guard up, man. You are sick of everybody's shit. You're like, I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to do nothing here. I'm not getting in the van until you show me what kind of candy you got. What you got? What are you working with here? What are you working with here? 
I want some Godiva chocolate. I want to see some uh, Rocher. What, what are those chocolates with the gold wrapping? Those Ferrera Rochers. I want some real shit. Don't be bringing me no dollar store fucking candy. I'm not getting in the van for some dollar store shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, I want some good stuff here. All right. Cancer, you're not playing with people. Show me. Show me the candy. Show me what you got before I get into this van. You're, you're done with it. You are sick and tired of people, relationships, people talking shit. But it's crazy because you're coming into this energy with the one person that is just head over heels, you know, wanting you. <coughs> Tell me about cancer. Yeah, cancer, you are, you're, you're going through a breakup. Okay, you're going through a breakup and you thought that this person that you're breaking up with, that they were your destiny, that you were fated or meant to be in that relationship. I think that you know that at some point in time that person is going to come back for reconciliation, okay? But there is going to be another soulmate coming towards you where the grass will be greener there, okay? But right now you're sitting in a very untrusting energy. You don't want to have any regrets when it comes down to love. You just don't. You really just don't. Um, I feel like a love offer is coming towards you, but you're sitting in a very untrusting energy. You're sitting in an energy of, um, I'm single and I'm going to stay that way until you show me the candy. I don't, I want to see what you're working with before I get in this van. And for those of you who don't get it, the van is the relationship because once you get in the van, now you're kidnapped. Now you're stuck there, right? You know what I'm saying? So you're like, before I tie myself and get into this van, before I, I tie myself into this relationship, show me what you got. And Cancer, you're seeing everybody as that you don't trust nobody. You don't trust nobody. You don't trust nobody. Tell me about Cancer, please. We've got the eight of swords in the reverse and the magician in the reverse. You are trying, you are freeing yourself from a very manipulative energy. The person that you're leaving behind may have even done bad magic on you or someone around them did, but you're freeing yourself of this. You are freeing yourself of this and you don't want to get caught in it again. With the six of wands and the lover's card, there could have been a third party situation where the third party was putting magic on you, Cancer, and you won with the six of wands. You managed to free yourself from the situation and you do not, it, 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 this experience was so bad for you. Virgo energy, Gemini energy, strong Gemini. Um, you have freed yourself from something really big here and it is a situation that you never want to get caught up in again. Page of Wands and the World card. Yep, you have learned your lesson here, okay? Um, I feel like you went into situations in the past very naive, and you're not naive anymore. Tell me about this Page of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, now you're going to make people work for it. You're going to make people work for it. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in the reverse, with the six of pentacles, you were dealing with somebody that had a third party in the picture. <clears throat> you, <clears throat> this past person was entertaining someone else and they would bounce between you and this third party. And I feel like either your person or this third party, this third party was very jealous and they may have done very na nasty magic to you. Or this is someone that just, you know, jinxed you, put evil eye on you. Life has been very difficult for you. For anyone who's resonating with this, your past relationship was very difficult, okay? Tell me about the Six of Wands and the Chariot Cancerian energy. You have broken free and you're wanting to make correct decisions here. Tell me about the Lover's card and the Six of Swords. You're moving away from this negative energy and you want your life to be peaceful. With the Nine of Cups, you want to be happy, okay? With the Nine of Cups, you want to be happy. I don't feel, Cancer, that you are sitting in an energy of being young, stupid, and naive anymore. Um, you're not easily manipulated here. You don't want to hear fairy tales, castles in the sky. Show me. Work for it. Let me see. Eight of Pentacles here. With the Ten of Wands, people are going to have to really go above and beyond to prove to you that they are worthy of having your attention, not even your love, your money, your attention. 
your attention, you know, tell me about the world card here and the queen of wands. Tell me about the world card here with the queen of wands and the seven of swords. Cancer, your past relationship, you were dealing with someone where a third party was in the picture. I don't know if this queen of wands was a romantic situation, a sexual situation, a family member, but there was a witch here. There was somebody here that um, your person either cheated on on you with or this person spoke badly your person spoke badly to you to this queen of wands energy and this queen of wands energy was really disrupting your life your health your money your peace your prosperity and with the world card that is over now with the four swords you feel yourself resting you feel your energy restoring here with the star card aquarian energy your estella is getting her groove back here you see what i'm saying it's like you're you're feeling better about life with the wheel of fortune your blessings or whatever you've lost in that past connection um maybe some of you gained weight you were emotionally eating some of you weren't uh you know focused on cleaning your house uh, some of you were depressed um maybe usually you like to keep a clean home and be organized and everything is upside down or cancer um you know uh, maybe money you weren't weren't working as much or um you know i don't know whatever it is cancer whatever was taken from you is going to be restored your health is going to start to feel better you have broken free from something here and with the three of wands and the three of pentacles you've got big plans for your future and the only thing that you're going to invest your time and energy into is things that have a solid foundation okay <clears throat> with the strength card and the um knight of pentacles only the strong will survive with you cancer it is survival of the fittest when it comes down to getting anywhere near you. Only the strong survive here, okay? With, you know, there's someone here better be ready to really show up and show out every single day before you trust anybody. Because what you went through on a abuse level in both the 3D, which is this realm, and on a spiritual level, which is the 5D, you will never compromise your peace, your happiness, your joy, and your blessings again in the name of love. You're never going to make that mistake again. It ain't going to happen. Okay? So, Cancer, uh, I do feel that this new person um, is very serious about you, but I'm not going to tell you to just trust anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell you to just trust anybody. You go ahead and make this person work for it, okay? Regardless as to whether they're coming in with positive intentions or not, you have learned your lessons and you've learned them for a reason because at the end of the day, Cancer, um, people appreciate the things that they earn, okay? They appreciate the things that they work for. So you go ahead and get play hard to get, baby, and do what you got to do, okay? Um, you have learned your lessons here with that world card. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about cancer and all 12 signs. Tell me about cancer and all 12 signs. Oh, what am I doing here? Five of pentacles and the queen of swords. I'm telling you, you're not giving shit to nobody. And I think that even if that ex comes back, you're not going to answer. <clears throat> okay, spirit, tell me about cancer, please. If we're dealing with an Aries, the Knight of Swords, the King of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So Cancer, there's an Aries here that does care about you, but they're very in and out. And I feel like the next time they go out, it is going to be your biggest blessing because they are going to stay out okay because you're done you're you're leaving this behind um if we're dealing with a taurus the ten of pentacles the five of swords the ace of cups and the ace of swords cancer there is a taurus here that sabotaged the connection betrayed you and walked away and this is somebody that may be realizing here that <clears throat> they really love you they that they made a mistake they want a future with you if we're dealing with a gemini the two of cups temperance the four of swords and the knight of wands cancer if you're dealing with a gemini this is somebody that that is rushing in um, either to heal things with you or if this is someone new, they love your energy. This person, they feel a strong soul tie with you. They love the way you love them and they just love your energy. 
like they love your home and cuddling with you if we're dealing with another cancer the king of pentacles the knight of pentacles the nine of cups and the eight of wands cancer if you're dealing with another cancer i'm seeing a lot of conversation happening between you and this person it's going to make you very happy apologies may be given and if it's not about apologies then you guys are dating and dating to marry okay if we're dealing with a leo we've got the lovers card the two of swords the death card and the three of wands things are going to change in the future with the leo because someone here has cut out a third party so you will see significant changes if we're dealing with a virgo the four of wands the seven of cups the judgment card and the seven of wands um cancer if you're dealing with a virgo this person's building castles in the sky about marriage moving in together it's an illusion um at the end of the day what this person's going to choose with the seven of wands is to just not do it you know they're just not going to do it if we're dealing with a libra page of cups the four of pentacles the seven of pentacles and the king of wands so cancer if we are dealing with a libra someone here is either saying that they love you for the first time and they don't want to lose you or they are apologizing saying they don't want to lose you this is someone that is very passionate about investing in this connection so they don't lose you if we're dealing with a scorpio the ace of wands the queen of pentacles the three of swords and the six of cups someone here may end up having a one night stand and getting pregnant with their ex there, there's a third party situation here cancer if you're dealing with a scorpio where someone here may have yeah someone here may be returning back to an ex because they get their ex pregnant okay or someone here could be going back to a baby mama or a baby daddy if we're dealing with a sag we've got the justice card the world card the moon card and the sun cancer if you're dealing with a sag there is a karmic cycle that has been completed um i feel like if you've been going through a very dark time the sun is coming out I, I feel like you're coming out of a dark night of a soul out of a karmic situation you may be coming out of a very dark time if you were dealing with a sag and happiness is here finally if we're dealing with a Capricorn, the full card, the three of pentacles, the five of wands and the page of wands. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, this person is all in when it comes down to wanting to build a solid foundation with you. But I feel like there's either a friend or a coworker that you don't like. And there's a lot of fights because of this person. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the star card, the two of wands, the seven of swords and the four of cups. Cancer, there's an Aquarius here that gets your hopes up, but with their words, but what it comes down to the actions that they're going to take, you're going to be very disappointed because this person's a liar. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this person may be a friend of yours or they may not tell you all the time but intuitively you know that this person loves you a lot so this person may not be great at expressing their emotions but they do have a lot of emotion for you okay all right my loves that's what i got for you i love you all so much i hope you enjoyed and i will see you soon take care